Previously on Kung Fu Maintenance, I showed you getting everything up on the roof and tapping power in order to uh, change out a compressor, and then showed the recovery of the re existing refrigerant in preparation to put in the new compressor. Today I'm going to be showing how to prep the new compressor and change out the new compressor and bolt it in in preparation for soldering or brazing it in. And this one will be getting changed out to MO99 on an upcoming video. We can disconnect. We're done with the recovery machine portion. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Tiny bit of refrigerant left in there. Okay. And then, uh, so now we're pulled down to zero. So um, I can disconnect here and we're ready to take out our old compressor. Um, when we do, I'm going to pull this side off. I'm going to float some nitrogen through uh, when we unbraze the old compressor. First thing, I'll need to pull off the bolts. Um, I'll need to prep the nitrogen. So when you're when you're soldering, you, you know when you solder anything, the oxygen and and everything gives off soot. You know when you're burning when you pan. So by floating nitrogen through the system, it, it prevents the oxidizing from happening inside the plumbing. So it prevents soot buildup inside and from contaminating your system. So. That's why you always want to float nitrogen through when you're brazing, even when you're even when you're unbrazing. I'm gonna unplug the recovery machine as we're done with the recovery machine. Um, so now this I can hook back up to my gauges. Um, I need a cap for this one. I'm gonna take this one here since we'll be sending this back anyway. Here. That's just letting off the last little bit. And there, right? Yeah. We're going to be pulling it back in anyway. Okay. Um, this is where we'll be pulling the back in from. And now we'll be detaching the compressor. Yeah. Zero. Okay. So you, you, compressor you, will need the need ratchet set. Hard, right? Yeah, I need a new red hose. Yeah. Red hose. Uh, okay. Recovery machine's done. In theory. Now we've got a ratchet set. This is most likely a standard, but all I have is metric. It should work. We got like it looks like a 14 millimeter, 13 millimeter. Okay. So we're going to be detaching our right here. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I left it in the sun. Yeah, yeah. No good. Blazing. So our new one will come with new bolts, but it's the same brand uh, compressor. So we'll be desoldering here and here. It looks like a pretty clean change out, so in theory, uh, we'll be detaching our deal. Uh, before I do anything, discharge the capacitor. The disconnect's already pulled and just for safety we're discharging the capacitor, bridging the leads with the metal portion of the screwdriver. I'm holding only the insulated handle bridging the leads. And we're going to be disconnecting the wiring. How long you connect the wiring? Right? Yeah, from the compressor. And obviously noting what goes where, but we've got our, it's color coded so the yellow start. What you do? <laughs> uh, no, it's probably not good. Probably an ambulance, yeah. That, that's the usual out here. Okay. There we go. Save the compressor through bolts or the, or the compressor bolts. A little hard to see. Uh, tricky. 
not much room and that's why the ratchet works good in here in these tight spaces you know trying to get a pair of shadow locks in there it can be done but it's no easy so far so good we'll prep our new compressor the new compressor will have these rubber grommets at feet that need to go into the new compressor that's in the box that my friend is using for a chair it's very convenient <laughs> If you want to start prepping that, you, you could. Uh, let's see, prepping the new compressor. I got one crazy bolt down in there. Got it started. Should be able to take it out by hand now. Nice. All right, there it is. So we're, as much as possible, we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna try to keep the, the new compressor upright as much as we can as we work with it. We're not, we're uh, trying to keep it from, and we're also gonna try to work on the service nets. So sometimes you can move these around. I can't see that too well, but, or if at all, but move these around so that we're working with this stuff and we don't puncture our roof material here. These suckers are heavy. Yeah, it's no joke. <laughs> As my friend just found out, it's, uh, you try to I know. put your finger through there, it can really damage you, so be careful. Uh, with the bolts, it, it's got these uh, through. I was saying the through bolts, so the gasket goes in first, or the feet, the rubber feet go in first. And it just kind of pushes in. Our bolts will wind up going through that. Now I've got the old ones prepped and ready, which this is, I can reuse those, I can use the new ones too. Either way, I mean this one, they're, they're really, it's really not that old. This compressor was done maybe two or three years ago, something like that. It may be under warranty even, but I think uh, it's not under labor warranty. So. Well, the, the metal is in labor, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I have even these ones ready, so put the screws in the way. <laughs> All right. So you can see these plugs in the compressor. We don't want to remove those kind of until the last thing that'll let air into the compressor and so we've got our unit ready here now we're going to be floating the, the uh, some nitrogen through okay okay so the nitrogen we've got our flow deal nitro view it's a pretty cool little deal allows oh, us to funny. flow through a little bit of nitrogen funny. Um, we hook up here, there's that, and then on the high side I'm going to hook up um, a hose and we're going to leave the other end open. So what that's going to allow us to do is float the nitrogen through so that it circulates through the system the entire time that we're brazing. And we just want to trickle, about three pounds. Right there? Nope. No. We're just going to leave it open. So that oh, the nitrogen okay. goes through. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. on the nitrogen, we're going to open the deal here. You can see it come up here. You only need a little, few little turns, and so it's got we got 1,700 pounds, 1,700 psi. No, okay. On the regulator, we're going to turn and open this to about 100, and then we're going to control it via here. And looks like we've got it open all the way. You see the little orange ball there? We're just going to want to float that just a little bit. There we go, to about three to five uh, nitrogen. And we should hear it coming out right here. So it's not a lot of pressure, just a little bit of pressure.
And it's good. And it stinks. <laughs> Doesn't smell super bad, but you know. Yeah, but so now we've got nitrogen flowing through. And um, so when we unsolder our heel, it's just gonna, gonna keep it from oxidizing inside the plumbing and make that easy. Next is gonna be, I'll turn off my nitrogen while I disconnect the heel. So not waste the nitrogen. Nitrogen's nat natural, it doesn't uh, damage the ozone layer or anything. So it's a nice gas to use for that. Um, yeah, my friend's got needle nose pliers or a pair of uh, needles here. There we go. I like to get behind them with the flat blade of my screwdriver, if possible, and then slip off the lead. Okay, these are going under the, the wire. There we go. Now we're ready to unsolder our deal. Um, we've got a flame, kind of a flame block on the new one. Obviously the old one we don't care about, but on the new one, you can do things to protect the new one. This is a good idea, so you can protect your unit. Now is the fun, the torch fun. So I'm gonna turn on my tank here. So we're we're about half full. So that's good. And you only need a few turns oh, yeah. to turn it on. And then we've got our torch. And it's a good idea to wear gloves or have channel locks ready. This will burn you if you let it. Um, yeah, we've got some special glasses. Sometimes they're it's a little hard to see <laughs> with the glasses, but it does protect <laughs> your eyes. Okay, we've got a couple strikers that both suck. I need to buy a new striker. Really good. Okay. My hat is not conducive to put on glasses, goggles, and I also cannot see with the goggles, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, <laughs> here. Designer! For the Sunday. Designer, yeah! For the Sunday, in the Sunday mall. glasses! For the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday at the mall. <laughs> That's great. I like it. Okay, so now we are ready. It's open. So you'll hear it flow through. Like I said, need new, need new uh, igniter. Yeah.
Got it. Good. Yay. Okay. Need to get the legs to stretch, get a drink of water, and come back to it. Okay, that went great. <laughs> No perfect, but what is? And go ahead and I'm gonna put some water on the deal to make it safer working in there. There's our old compressor. It's gonna cool that off. So I can take it out and make that a little easier in theory. Ready for the new one. So the turbo torch is a little new for me. I'm used to using the oxygen and acetylene, which I think gets a tiny bit hotter. But it is what it is. So now I've got to work out the old compressor. Clear my area in here. don't want to get broken. It's blazing hot. Of course it is. Big ball of copper steel can definitely absorb a lot of a lot of heat. Okay. Yeah. But it will make a good chair when I solder in the new one. On the on the hot seat. Okay, now moving in the new one. There's a hot seat, I tell you. <laughs> that works? Good, good, good. Okay, so I can remove the, the rubber here. You're gonna hear it kind of pop. There we go. Push in our new deal, there we go. And same thing on the low side or the high side. Yeah, the side, the low side. You can hear it pop here. There it goes. Yeah, or not. Here we go. So now there's our new one in. Gonna need to squeeze this side down a little bit position things where we want it.
Charlotte's built. Christian could see people walking around the top. They were all clothed in fire and gold. Can we go in? Question Christian. My name, sir, said a man of fierce countenance. He drew a sword, put a helmet on his head, and he charged toward the armed man. He gave and received many wounds from those who would try to keep him out. But he prevailed and he broke through and entered in at the door. Then a beautiful voice was heard, come in, come in, come on in, turn of glory you shall win. So the men went in. smile as he said I think I know what this means yeah 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 let me continue on my journey Mr. Interpreter not yet my brother I have a couple more things to show you Thank you. 